Warning, the purpose of this manual is to implement change, control old habits, and previously recorded actions that have somehow become recurring when put in the same situations over time. The problem. I believe in attacking the problem first. Some call it being negative I call it get that shit out the way so we can move on. From what I have noticed, there is an issue that doesn't plague everyone, but the symptoms are real in the lives of most people I encounter. I don't think people are born with this issue. I think that society has pushed these issues on us with TV, foods, way of life, etc. Anxiety There are many types of anxiety disorders that include, but aren't limited to, panic disorder, obsessive-compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, social anxiety disorder, specific phobias, and generalized anxiety disorder. Anxiety is a normal human emotion that everyone experiences at times. Many people feel anxious or nervous when faced with a problem at work before taking a test or making an important decision. Anxiety disorders, however, are different. They can cause such distress that it interferes with a person's ability to lead a normal life. WebMD Now living in a microwave society was all good and getting everything fast was super cool to everyone, but it caused you to form a right now mindset. Problem with that is it has killed. 2. America's Patience The people who designed this super quick process had to take time to develop it. When you see a problem or an issue, you want it fixed right now, because that's what life has taught you. Change is a process, and it's not a microwavable fix. It's cutting out the little things in order to beat that one big thing. You lack consistency, commitment, and patience because you're not required or trained to have it based on society's standards. Shit is easy and fast from PayPal to sex partners. So, having to wait makes you overly anxious. That anxiety turns into fear, and you wonder why you are always afraid to do anything outside the norm. Look into anxiety online and do some research on it. It's a good read. Compulsive Disorder this is where you realize you've been brainwashed. You are hesitant due to fear of failure when investing in starting a business, but you are programmed to go out and buy whatever you see that's fly whether it's shoes, Ciroc, a purse, that new iPhone, because you want it now, or going to get that favorite meal randomly that doesn't do anything for your body. Let us get the definition for compulsive disorder. An uncontrollable impulse to perform an act, often repetitively, as an unconscious mechanism to avoid unacceptable ideas and desires which, by themselves, arouse anxiety. The repetitive or stereotyped action that is the object of such an urge. Now pause. There goes that word anxiety again. Pay attention. You impulsively eat, shop, and go where you want based on how you feel. So the question is, why aren't you compulsive about being patient? Answer. Cause you haven't been programmed to do that. Please realize that from the TV you watch, on demand, and to the music you listen to, it trains you for fast and right now. Media and society has trained you to behave compulsively. For example, Ciroc is not the best vodka, and Lebutin doesn't make the best heels, but they sell the most. You. 3. Need to acknowledge for yourself and realize what you can and cannot do and why you want to do it. Then, you need to reprogram or re-raise yourself daily to change how you operate. Knowledge versus distractions You are only as good as the knowledge you have. If you don't have the knowledge then you are no good to move forward. Let's talk about the distractions of not gaining knowledge. Twitter, Facebook, friends, taking two hours to do something that takes 30 minutes, etc. Life in society is designed to keep you distracted from achieving your ultimate goal. I watch people report to Facebook and Twitter every 10 minutes daily to see what's going on with other people just to be nosy. Read a chapter a night in some type of book in order to move forward. Don't let anything distract you from gaining the knowledge you need in order to make the necessary changes required to improve. Allocate the time necessary to be successful whether it's planning during a lunch break or listening to an audiobook on the way home. The devil don't want to see you do better. If you do better the people around you do better, 
but if you stay stagnant, then that's what you will display to the people around you. It takes new knowledge to get out of a dead-end road and move forward. You react the same way to the same situations cause you don't have the knowledge to react differently. I like to do two chapters in the Bible and one chapter in a motivational book as often as I can. I allow an hour of TV just to see something, but no more than that. The Surroundings of Winning You are only as productive as the atmosphere you subject yourself to. This is where it gets political. Some friends, family, and distractions must go. Now, I'm not saying cold turkey cut people off, although some people should be cut off. I'm just saying that if you can't help me grow, I can't entertain you. Now, as a friend, it's okay to let someone know you are taking a new. 4. Direction in life and invite them to join. Gives them the opportunity to weed themselves out. Not that they aren't cool anymore, it's just that the path you chose forces you to make different decisions that won't fit an old lifestyle, old friends, or old circumstances. You are responsible for your life, and no one else's. So with that being said, respect your life and attempt greatness. No TV, no radio, no friends, just head down with whatever productive music or tone, and get done whatever you have to get done for that day. The key to this is to utilize focus. Just focus only on what you need to do or have wrote down to finish that day in order to get it done. Whether it is weight loss or business idea just do it. Create a get it done and stay focused environment. Having kids is no excuse. Call it focus hour or make a game out of it so that they are occupied for a solid hour or two. Honestly, all kids should be in bed by eight, which gives you ample enough time to take a couple of hours before you yourself decide to call it a night. And if you are thinking your child doesn't go to bed at eight, then now is the time to make that us go to bed at eight. Create an atmosphere of productiveness forward thinking, focus, and most of all winning. Learn this skill for yourself so that you can teach your child how to be focused, disciplined, and therefore successful. Remember, it's a habit. A learned skill. A skill they aren't going to learn by accident, in front of the TV, or listening to inappropriate music. Set them up for greatness. Secret of success. The secret of success is to keep your work a secret. Ask a few people, preferably forward thinkers in business, or email me, and I will call and talk to you about any idea you might have at lewis at ihesselnation.com. You must remember that it is no one else's business, but your own dot if you feel like you want to lose weight, then take your ass to the gym and beat that body up often until it sits like you want it to. It isn't unnecessary to announce your weight loss plan, take pics of yourself sweating in the gym and upload on social networking sites to a bunch of people who don't care. Oftentimes we get a good idea and want the people around us to. 5. Validate it. This is a terrible idea that will backfire because they won't be able to see or support your vision because they don't have any vision themselves. The best part of a good idea is the ability to keep it a secret. Coco Chanel in church you will hear a pastor say hold your testimony till after service. Apply that same principle to your personal life. After you have sought wisdom from three to five, experienced and successful, people about your idea, put it into play and don't tell anyone about it till after it is done. I say again hold your testimony till after service. Start something. I'm often asked what made you quit your job. Or why do you ask people to start a business even if they aren't in business? Most of you all with issues and problems should realize that starting something is very therapeutic to life's issues. The problem is some people think they have to start something and become rich overnight. People here is how you start something in plain English. Come up with one idea and move on it. Give it a face or identity, i.e. logo, website, business cards, etc. Now this one is tricky. Because you want to make sure it's quality. Always remember people will love, follow, and support quality. Write down the operations and how much time you will give it a day or week. Stay consistent with what you have created. I just showed you how to work on your consistency, commitment, 
dedication, discipline, and patience just that fast. Never factor in money when starting something just factor in moving it forward. I have a website company. I never factor how much money I will make I factor what five. Six. People that need a website can I get in touch with this week. It's not about being the next Facebook kid or making a million dollars. What most don't know is millionaires never thought about the money they thought about the service and giving it to as many people as possible. It's not a race to riches it's being able to create and accomplish something great. If you have any questions or need some insight on how to start it or move forward you can always email me at lewis at ihustlenation.com. Works You must do the necessary work and research in order to win in any and every aspect in your life. Yeah, it really looks like everything comes easy in this microwavable world, and no one has to work for anything. Sad part is only the poor and middle class think like this. The rich put in that focus and concentration time in order to propel anything they do, and this is why the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. We buy what the rich lease and sell what the rich keep. They educate themselves and upgrade as often as they acknowledge the need to be greater. We stay stagnant and hope for a raise and an extra vacation day every two years. See everybody wants the front-end glory, but no one wants the back-end work. Sad part is the back-end is what makes the front-end count. We love to hear and see success stories of people who made it, but we have zero faith in ourselves to think that maybe we can possibly be that success story. We don't work past the challenges, failures, and disappointments that are a part of every success story. We see these minor issues as reasons to quit instead of opportunities to expand our thought processes or problem-solving skills and keep pushing. We believe we have a great idea but lack the faith in ourselves, i.e. determination, effort, to make what we have come to life. If it doesn't happen fast enough we get frustrated or upset and then give up on it. Trust me I have been there a few times. I have learned that it takes me putting my head down and getting it done regardless of how it feels if I want to see results in anything I do. 7. Test So, not sure of your belief system, but I believe in Jesus Christ. I feel like he places tests in our paths and we have to overcome them in order to move forward. Well I've been finding out that my ass has been failing the littlest tests for most of my life. I now know that my blessings are based on doing what I do not want to do or what I am not comfortable doing in order to move forward. It's inconveniently blessing people when it puts you out of your way or you don't have the time. Honestly, just making this manual is a bit much for me due to the fact that it took up a lot of my time just compiling and making valid points. Clearly it's free so I didn't do it for the money but it's the fact that people need to move forward and don't know how. I have the knowledge to give it to them so as I sit here and type at 3.12 a.m. my bed looks way better than this computer, but my bed won't help you and honestly won't help me if I run to it every time it calls my body to it. Denial of self and focus. From handling people, to reacting to beef, to paying bills on time just know it's all a test, and you will not excel to the next level if you don't pass these tests. Tests are to better you and propel you. The reason rich people and broke people don't have the same problems is because a major problem to the poor is not a problem at all to the rich and prosperous in life. You still struggling with them same small time problems at 31 and the prosperous tackled it at 21. Now some of not knowing how to handle problems is due to upbringing and what you were taught but at this point you should seek third party knowledge in order to handle that problem every time it arises. Used to be if a man called me a bitch I would automatically clear the room whooping his ass. I would win in these particular situations cause they never knew I was coming and half the time I didn't know I was coming. Growing up fatherless caused me to engage in overcompensation of what I thought a man was supposed to be. So in reflex, I would chop or attempt to chop down any man that would consider me less of a man. It got to the point where even if I was outnumbered, I'm about to at least whoop the ass of the dude talking too much or the leader. 8. Taking punches to prove my manhood. My outlook now is as long as you don't touch me I'm okay with how you feel about me. 
I realize that I can't change what anyone says or feels about me. I am okay with how you feel however you feel just know and remember that I don't owe you shit so either way we're good. Purpose So often times I get people that want to do something and they always ask what is my purpose in life though? This is a question plaguing America and I always give the same answer. Find out what you love and what you will do for free and do that. Now what's funny is that may not be your purpose at all, but what you have to understand is you find your purpose by purposely doing something. You must do something to find yourself. Every action is a reaction and right now you ain't producing no action. You need to invest and put time and effort into an idea you came up with and implement it greatly. If you ask me my purpose my answer is God is light, but I'm the mini light that provides happiness to somebody who needs it. From this manual to my show to the trips I throw I make people happy. I may talk crazy, but in the end people accept my answers, and it provides happiness when you figure out what the real problem is. It's like a car that won't start in a city where you need a car. You're mad your car won't start, but happy when you figure out what the exact problem is and happier it's anything but the engine. Bottom line is you will find your purpose when you do something on purpose. Try it sometime you might like it. The blessing in you. Oftentimes we don't get maximizing our lives is how we produce a blessing in others. While you are happy and stagnant at your job, you are blocking the person behind you to move up. 9. And move forward. Doing new things in your life is and will be the inspiration to inspire others around you to do greatness. Blessings, motivation, and money should be able to flow through you. My motto for this year, pay people what they are owed and give people what they pay for. Let me break this up in a somewhat sketch. Equals 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 zero backslash dash me with my hand down handing money dollar. Equals 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 backslash zero backslash equals 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 backslash zero backslash equals 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 backslash zero backslash dash three people receding from me and passing downward dollar dollar dollar. Equals 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 backslash o slash equals 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 backslash o slash equals 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 backslash o slash equals 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 backslash o slash equals 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 backslash o slash equals 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 backslash o slash dash dash their children. So what you have here is a classic case of paying for kids you didn't know you have. I pay my people and their children have a good Christmas. This is what you call being a blessing and not even knowing it. If Will Smith makes a hot movie, and the bootleg man sells 50 of his movies cause it's a hot item, Will Smith was a blessing to the bootleg man outside of Walmart, and doesn't even know it. Anytime you have a big budget $100 million movies, I bet you Will Smith may acknowledge 10 to 20% of the people who took part in the movie, but I bet you 100% of them appreciate him for putting that money in their life for them to be able to take care of their families another day. Now just imagine if he would have given up after Fresh Prince. That's a lot of big budget movies that people will not be getting paid from. I say all that to say nobody knows the decisions you make or what can come of you in this life. I say while you are here be a blessing at the greatest magnitude you can. We don't know how far the ripples of our decisions go. We kill one and save a thousand. That's the code. Angelina Jolie wanted movie. 10. Fear. Fear is an emotion induced by a perceived threat. Fear is 